transformations. Shape A is translated. So translated just means it's moved on to shape B. So what you've got to do is work out, this is like a coordinate, that when it comes up as a vector, it's like a coordinate. The top number's how far across you go in. So if it's a plus, it'd be to the right. If it's a minus, to the left. And the second one is up or down. And like coordinates, if it's up, it's a plus, if it's minus, it's down. So A is going across plus 1, plus 2, plus 3, plus 4, plus 5, plus 6, plus 7, plus 8. So to get to that point is 8 across. So my vector is going to be 8, and it's going down 1, down 2. So it's across 8, down 2, so it's going to be 8 minus 2. Okay, so it's 8 across 8, down 2, and that's the answer to that one. The next one, reflect the shape in the line x equals 1. So for this one, I'm drawing the line x equals 1. So when I'm drawing the line x equals 1, okay, I put a line up straight through the line x equals 1 because it crosses the x-axis at 1. And now I'm reflecting it in that shape. So what that means, a reflection is the mirror image. It's two blank squares. So this one is two blank squares away. So that point now goes two blank squares that side. This one is down three. So it's two across. And then you go across two. And now the square is flipped. So the rectangle's flipped. So it's now across one. And then we join them up to make the rectangle. And that's the reflection in the line x equals 1. When you're looking at this one, it hasn't been translated, because it, if it was translated, it'd be facing the same direction. What well, this one has been done is been twisted. Okay? And it's been twisted. It's called a rotation once it's been twisted. So it's rotated, and I can see it's gone a quarter of a turn. So it's gone 90 degrees. Okay? And then when you're trying to work out where it's rotated from, it's across 3, up 2. So this one now goes down 3 and across 2. So it's sort of been flipped around from this point here. And that point there is called the origin, because that's where you're rotating it, and it's gone in a clockwise d d direction. So it's rotated 90 degrees clockwise about the origin. So it's gone round like a clock, and it's rotated 90 degrees clockwise about the origin. So this is another example of rotation about the origin. They're asking us to rotate the triangle 90 degrees anti-clockwise about the origin. So with this question, I would draw an outline of the axis. I would then draw the shape and then I put my pencil on the origin 90 degrees is a quarter of a turn so I'm doing it a quarter of a turn anti-clockwise so the axis turns round so it stays where it is and now one has now turned 90 degrees a clockwise anti-clockwise okay so the points go there now so it's across one up two is the first point the next coordinate is, is Across one up four, and my final coordinate is across four up two. So for that triangle, I'm going to join them up to make a triangle. All right, and that's what will be rotated 90 degrees anti clockwise about the origin. Right, enlargement is the fourth transformation where you make everything that many times bigger. So what you're going to do, this shape, if you can imagine, is three down and two across. So my new shape, because the scale factor is two, is twice as big. So three times two is six, so it's going to be six down. And going across, it's going to be two times two is four. But I need to be careful where I draw it from. So because I'm drawing it from this point, the whole diagram is stretched out too. So this point here is down one and across two. So because it was down one, twice the size of that would now be down two. 
and instead of being across 2 from the starting point, twice the size of that would be across 4. So it's down 1 across 2, it now becomes down 2 and across 4. So that corner point is now in that position. Alright, it's now telling me, because that's twice as far away from the centre. Instead of going down 3, we now go down 6. Instead of going across 2, you go across 4. And then you go up 6 and across 4. Okay, so it's twice as big. The whole shape is twice as big. Right, translate. We talked about translating and that's just moving it across. So the top value tells me how far across I'm going. So I want to take that across plus 5 because it's to the right and down 2. So every point goes across 5 and down 2. So this one is here. So it goes across 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and down 2. So that point goes there. The other top corner point goes 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and down 2. So that point is there. And the final one, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, down 2. So it's there. So I'm drawing the new shape in the same position. All right, it's across 5, down 2. If I go right down the, the column transformation and uh, reverses that translation, I want it to go back. So instead of going 5 to the right, they go now 5 to the left. So I would write 5 to the left would be minus 5. And now instead of going down 2, it goes up 2. So because it's, instead of minus 2, it becomes plus 2. Right, rotational symmetry of order 2. That one means it looks the same when I twist it around twice. So when I twist it around twice, all right, you draw the axis, and I'm gonna trace the shape. So if I just, I'm gonna use the same piece of tracing paper. In fact, I need to draw a new one because it's not quite big enough, the axis. So I'm gonna draw, twist, I'm gonna draw the shape I'm going to draw my square on my shape. I'm going to draw my rectangle, my two square rectangle here, and I'm going to draw my shape in the bottom corner. I'm going to put my pen or pencil on the, on the shape and twist it around. So once, twice, so it's back in exactly the axis, are back in the same position. And what that means is now if I shade in the, shape, the relevant shapes, It means I've twisted it round and it looks exactly the same in two places when I twist it round. So that has got order two. Right, when you reflect in the shape, it's the mirror image. You've got to draw the line y equals two. The y equals two is a parallel line that goes straight across, cutting through y is two. So if that is my line y equals two, and now reflecting this downwards in the line y equals 2, there's a one square gap. So this one would go here, this point would go down one, and then my triangle would be three long going down off this one. So it's one, two, three. Join up the third point, and that's the reflection. Describe this single transformation. Again, you look in, it's been rotated, it's been twisted. So there's a rotation. It's gone S to T, it's gone anti-clockwise. It's gone 90 degrees. And because it's 1, 3, 1, 3, it's about the origin. All right, it's been twisted about the origin. And last but not least, Translate the, the column vector minus 5, minus 4. Minus 5 means you're moving it 5 to the left, and then minus 4 for the vertical means you're going to minus 4, so you're going 4 down. So every point goes 5 to the left and 4 down. So we start on this point 1, 2, 
three, four, five, and four down. One, two, three, four. So that points there. The next one. One, two, three, four, five, and down four. One, two. So it's one, two, three, four. And the last point is across five. So one, two, three, four, five, and down four. One, two, three, four. All right, because the light went out on the last one, this point is actually one, two, three, four, five, and down four. One, two, three, four is there. Okay, so it goes across there, up, and the whole shape has moved over five to the left and four down. Describe the column, write down the column vector that will reverse that translation. So instead of going five to the left, you're now going five to the right, which I'd write as five. Instead of going down four, you're going up four. So I'd put that as plus four.